a beer with Eduardo. Pow! Pow! Uppercut, 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 hook, jab, 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 and kick! What's up, guys? This is Eduardo from the Beer with Eduardo, here today to have another beer with you. We're on the beer number 14 today, gents, and I know that I'm excited, so let's get to it, all right? All right, so we're going to look around here on the box to see if we can find beer number 14. I can't count past 10, so we'll see what we can find out. Looks like I found it right here. So, it's down here, third, fourth from the top. Another cool can. This is Zwanizer Rock Beer, a German craft beer. It was uh, established in 1997, so not very long. It's only been around about uh, 22 years. Yeah, all right, right? You do the math. I'm stupid. Anyway, let's have this beer. I can't do this anymore. All right. So, I also think it was like making my mic do funny things. So, there's that. All right. So, this had like a real smooth pour. It's kind of a creamy pour. It's another darkish type beer, which I, like I said on the last episode, I've kind of grown accustomed to in certain ways. So, we'll see how I like this one. All right. Almost has a little bit of a little bit of sweet flavor to it. Kind of once you get through the once you plow through the head there, but uh, I it, I enjoyed it. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have have another sip here. That's one worth uh, worth savoring. I do, I do enjoy it. I, hey, Past Eduardo, what's up? Oh, hey, man. Yeah, yeah what's up? Yeah, no, what's up? I mean, I'm just kind of sitting here wasting away watching uh, TV. It's nice outside. I could be doing, like, nice outdoor things. but Yeah, me too. No, I'm sitting here doing I this. I hear you. Today, uh, what are you watching? today I'm going to watch, well, of course, at least six episodes of Highway to Heaven. Six episodes? After wow, that, that's a lot. I think I'm going to fit in, uh, cause, just because I'm feeling nostalgic, uh, I'd like to watch a couple episodes of Punky Brewster. Sure. Uh, some Leave it to Beaver. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bonanza. Yeah. And, uh, well, oh, yeah, uh, the, the show that I really am looking forward to watching is uh, Who's the Boss? One, because I need to figure out who the boss is. It's well, been yeah, a long time since I've I watched mean... the show. Don't really know. Right. Right. Yeah, never figured it out. So you would I'm think the lady that, that owns the I house like would the be actor, in charge. I like the actor Tony Danzig, uh, Melissa Milano. I like her, and I like that uh, Janet Lighthouse. Uh, she's cool too. Uh, Tony Danzig, though, he's like my favorite because he's like kind of he makes me laugh because he's like one of my favorite uh, like foreign actors. Sure, he does a really good like. Uh, uh, accent. He's got a good American accent. He kind of plays that dumb guy. He's like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> yeah, I like Tony Danza. No, so right. I'm, I'm looking forward like to watching that. So uh, that's about it today, man. Sorry, I don't have more for you. Later. No worries. All right, later, man. Rock beer is an old German beer style with origins in the 1500s from the District of Franconia and the town of Bromberg. Typically dark to amber in color. It shares similarities with Oktoberfest beer. Green malts are dried over an open fire of beechwood impacting, imparting a unique smokiness. Rock beer. Rock is, for, is German for smoke to the final. Okay. Okay. Rock is German for smoke. Okay. So, and it's uh, imparting a unique smokiness to the final beverage. I don't know how to read with parentheses, obviously. Expect toasty, rich malt in aroma and flavor, restrained bitterness, low to high smoke flavor, clean fermentation profile, and 
attenuated finish. All right, so it's uh, it's Zwanitzer Rock Beer, or Rosh Beer, Rock Rosh Beer. I, I know I'm not uh, reading it correctly. The average rating, the average score is 85, which is very good. It is 4.8% uh, alcohol with a 3.74 uh, star average. Uh, let's see what we have here. H-Man43 just reviewed this today. It looks and pours a deep amber with reddish hues. It has a tan head and head retention is excellent. I, uh, I would agree with that uh, sentiment. Smell, it has a smoked aroma like bacon and ham. Let's take a sniff. I could see that, yeah. I mean, I, I'd, I'd buy it. it uh, the taste, the flavors have some bread with plenty of smoke. It's like bacon and ham. There are some like herbal elements in the background. It is a medium body with a smoke lasting well into the finish. Overall, there are some bready elements and herbal notes, but the main attribute is the smoke. I could see that, you know, I was, I. There is a sweetness to it, though. I do like the smell. I could sit in here and smell this all day. Anyway, let's uh, get this beer out of here for another episode. Get this in the can for another week or another episode. I'm having a tough day, guys. All right. Thanks for uh, joining me today. Until next time, cheers. Uh, in the meantime, go and watch all the other videos. They're probably a little more polished. This one, meh, meh. Not up to the standard, but I can't redo it because I opened the beer, all right? All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, bam, pow. You can see my, my self-esteem slowly trickling away. It's all gone now. Anyway, no, uh, tspn.fun, ring the bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. And uh, subscribe to the show and go watch all the other videos. Drink all the beers with me. Enjoy them. This was number 13, 14, 14, right? Yeah, 14, sorry. Did I say 13 all this time? No, this is 14. 13 was yesterday. Anyway, we're on to 14. Uh, this, this video is terrible and rushed, but they happen sometimes. So don't worry about it. All right, later. Found a trail, and at the end was you. There's a path to take, and a path not taken. The choice is up to you, my friend. Not so long, but you might awaken a brand new life, brand new life, brand new life around the bend. Yeah, that was perfect. Awesome. He's got a good American accent. He kind of plays that dumb guy. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I like Tony Danza.